So I want to look at hip hinge today. One thing I've noticed with people who are deadlifting, squatting, have knee pain, back pain, is that they're unable to load their hips and take out their lumbar spine from the equation, meaning they're moving too much lumbar spine and not enough power through their, through their glutes. I think this is a rate limiter for athletic uh, performance because eventually you're unable to buffer all those loads to going through your lumbar spine. So if you think about what's the first way that we set up for the deadlift, right? That first setup is back or hip hinging to get down into our pull. Same with cleans, same with um, even, even from a jumping standpoint. And so people gotta be able, need to be able to load their hips. So if we look at how do we fix this, well one thing I'll train right off the bat is um, the hip hinge. So if you look at the hip hinge, what we're essentially doing is we're coming up, I, I like to use a cue uh, first, a posterior cue, but essentially we're pulling the floor apart with our feet, glutes, so the glutes are on, abs are on, we can use two hand rule to, to prevent overextension or over flexion, and we're essentially priming through the hips and back up. Notice I'm giving a little bit at the, at, the, at the knees, meaning I'm keeping a vertical shin. That's fine. I want a vertical shin. This is a great way to teach vertical shin. So maybe you progress from hip hinge to box squats um, to regular squats and front squats, all that stuff. But we've got to have a, a, a paradigm in order to, to drive through that stuff. So hinging here and back up. If you cannot hip hinge, you shouldn't be deadlifting and you shouldn't be squatting. 